friends, welcome back to Lakeisha Loves to Plan. Today I have another huge haul for you. This is mainly crafting um, products with a little bit of stuff for my kids. So I'm so happy to share this with you. Um, so let's start with this first thing. These are uh, felt numbers and they are 100 piece numbers in here so um i don't have any felt numbers so i felt like i just needed to get some now that i'm getting more and more into scrapbooking and planning and i got it in two different colors i got the numbers in blue and i got them in red and how fitting because today is memorial day <laughs> so i'm not sure how i'm going to be using these I have I know I have birthdays coming up I know if I want to um if I want to capture the memories for the year 2020 I got that as a number um but other than that I can't think of off the top of my head what I would use these for but I was happy to get those um, I found a lot of crafting supplies like this one here this is liquid adhesive and you see like you can put um, rhinestones on hats and they said it's perfect for embellishments for wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard, and trims. So and you see on here they're putting, they're bedazzling some shoes. So this seems to be like really um, something that really helps things stick. So I, I don't know, I'm a little skeptical because usually when I get glue from the dollar store is not really that strong but I don't know I'm gonna try it and see if it works let me know if you already have that glue and um, tell me how it works I also always wanted one of these this is a chalk writer to write on uh, chalkboard surfaces so I have a couple of chalkboards but I have real chalk and I was like oh I would love something like this to write that's not as messy so um, it says it's wet erasable and it's mess and dust free, which is like heaven to me. So I was pretty excited to find that in the Dollar Tree. Um, I also found these um, piercing and scoring tools um, to pierce and score at the bottom here. Um, and I need these like when I have small stickers that I need to manipulate or if I want to punch holes out of something. Um, and this scoring if I want something to fold. So I like that it was a two in one and you also got two of them. That was a great buy I think for a dollar. And it's pink. Like the color I like. <laughs> um, oh I was in desperate need of highlighters. Um, I am in school and I am reading. I'm taking statistics. I have to do, I will do a whole nother video on statistics, y'all. Statistics is no joke, okay? So I have to highlight because just underlining and writing stuff down is not going to help me. I have to highlight. So I could not find, I, I have so many like markers and pens in here and I could not find any highlighters. So I had to get some. Oh, these are so pretty. I got these um, jewel gems because I'm doing scrapbooking. I want to be able to like embellish the scrapbook pages a little bit with some gems. So I'm excited about this. And maybe I can use some of that liquid um, glue. Where's the liquid glue? Yeah, this liquid glue on it right here. And I also found the same thing but hearts. So I have flowers and hearts um, to use to embellish those. And they each come with. 32 pieces um, in here and I was like wow that is pretty awesome for one dollar and as you can see most of this is crafter stuff but I do have some other stuff um, I found some double sided tape now this is regular flat tape I did just recently order some um, like, fo like foam tape from Amazon just to give my pictures some height when I scrapbook but I also needed some double sided tape just for pictures and things so I want to try that and see how that works this is pop dot tape so I think this is sort of yeah this is like foam tape 
and I just bought some. Oh well, I have double portion. <laughs> Except this one was only a dollar. Yeah, it looks like foam. It looks like foam tape. It's pretty thick, so I think this might be foam tape. Oh man, I got two of them, but that's okay because this was only a dollar. So if you need some foam tape and you're like you can't find it, try your Dollar Tree because that's where I got it from. And then I also found this tape, um, magical. They call it magical. That's hilarious. Magical adhesive dots. So these are little teeny clear dots that are on white paper. Um, to, and they say they're photo safe. So if you want to do like a temporary spread or be able to pick it up and move, it says it's photo safe and it's easy to apply and there's 72 pieces in here for one dollar you cannot beat that guys you cannot beat that at all this next glue that i got from the dollar tree is multi-purpose glue spray now i have some tacky glue spray right but that glue spray is so intense like i cannot use that on paper i have to use that to like whole heavy stuff down this is very intense so i was happy to see this little teeny i mean it's so tiny look at that it's so cute this little tiny bottle i can use on just like paper stuff so i'm really excited about getting glue spray that's not super intense i also found this craft glue and i like this spout tip here where you could just like put little dots on things so uh, again just all of this glue I'm going to need because I'm starting to get more into scrapbooking and I want to be able to make sure my things are held in place and I have some buttons but I don't have buttons like these the buttons I have are old and they're a little raised on the edges of the buttons these buttons I like because they're totally flat and they give you multiple colors look y'all 90 pieces for one dollar at the Dollar Tree okay you have yellow pretty for the summertime purple pink and blue and the pink and blue ones are fat and the purple and yellow ones are little so if you are like creating flowers and you want to put that little piece in the middle of the flower buttons are good for that I think that's what I'm going to be using these buttons for mainly I was happy to find that and then I found this beautiful box isn't that box so pretty and it has a little glitter to it I don't know if you can see it um, in this camera but oh my gosh and look at the side y'all it has the scalloped sides with the beautiful um, the beautiful flowers and it's on all it's all around y'all and then when you open the box up, this is like dark in the inside. So I know you're like, Lakeisha, why did you purchase that bark box? Well, I'm purchasing a lot of little teeny stuff. So I figured I need a little box to hold like tiny, really small stuff that I just want to take out really quickly and use it in my spreads. And, and it's just cute. I'm just going to leave it on my shelf because it's pretty um the next thing i found now if anything you know about lakeisha lakeisha likes christmas and llamas okay so this says wonder more and i have a wall behind me that you may see sometimes when i am sitting in front of the camera it's a dot wall and i have llamas sprinkled all over the wall so when i find a new llama I just add the llama to the wall so this llama will be added to the wall I think it's cute it's glittery background and then it has this and I just like the way this llama looks this llama is very proud and um, it must be this llama's birthday or something she's like hey it's my birthday and it's really easy to hang so very cute for one dollar and then the last thing that's in this bag I am not finished <laughs> Our um, index cards my son is four and he's starting to say mom what does that say when he's reading text okay that's a sure indication that he's ready to learn how to read so I am going to be uh, teaching him some 
really good vocabulary words and creating a vocabulary wall for him in his room so he can start to learn how to read. And I'm, I'm going to start also making books for him. Uh, when I was a first grade teacher, that's a technique I learned to help children learn how to read. You make their books and you make the noun in the story of a sticker like the, and if I have a sticker of a lion is orange the sticker of a lion is blue the so the words that the child is reading over and over again is the is and then the color so they're learning those even though the sticker word they're not really learning yet so anyway I don't know why I felt the need to just tell how I'm gonna make his books but I'm gonna be making him some books and it's gonna incorporate words that are gonna be on his word wall I'm using this for his word wall all right so, in my next bag, I have two Spanish moss packs. And I'm really excited because, let me back this up some. Because you are going to experience another DIY for me. I just did a DIY on how to make your own homemade laundry detergent. So, if you did not see that, please head on over to that video on my channel. Um, I do planning, DIYs, and lifestyle videos. And I'm also life coaching on Success Saturdays every Saturday, Saturday as well on my channel. So, all of these things I'm doing fit within what my channel is all about. This is another DIY that I will be showing you. And actually, let me get the other pieces that go to the DIY. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing. So can you guess <laughs> what I'm going to be doing with the Spanish Moss? I have some beautiful flowers left over from spring that I don't want to go to waste. So I'm going to create two flower baskets and put them in my living room. I mean, at least that's the plan. And all of these um, materials came from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to do a DIY on. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so both my sons graduate this year. I have a high schooler that is graduating and going to college. Woo! Um, and I have a 14 year old that's graduated from 8th grade and going to high school. Woohoo! So they have no idea. I bought these to hang um, on their room doors. So I have some leftover uh, wreath hooks from Christmas. And I'm just going to hang these on their doors to let them know that mommy and daddy are so proud. And I also got them to match that they love to drink so I got them some 2020 cups one blue and one white and I love these cups they say hats off class of 2020 congrats grad yay schools out cheers and they have little diplomas on them and they're just so incredibly cute so I'm going to give them each their own cup and then I have three boys. Those are two of my boys. But of course my four-year-old, he's going to be like, Mommy, where's my cup? So <laughs> I found this cute Paw Patrol cup that I'm going to give him. And he is going to love it. So I'm really excited about giving him that. So that's just a little piece of what I bought my sons. Oh, let me also show you the um, cards. I got them both graduation cards. So this one says, can you believe I got this big car for a dollar at the Dollar Tree? Wow, these are like $6 in the store. They're huge and they're beautiful. Son, congrats on your graduations. Through all the stages of your life, you have been a source of pride. And now as you are graduating, just want to make sure you know how much happiness you have given, how much, how very much you are loved. And then this one is a mahogany car, y'all which are very expensive, in the Dollar Tree for $1. Smart, talented, hardworking, you're all that, and that is why you deserve to feel so very proud. Congratulations, Grad. So I was so happy to find those things for them, um, and I can't wait to give them those. All right, back to the cutesy stuff. So they had these beautiful um, wooden 
decor hangers and this is so incredibly cute like the colors are cute I wish this was turquoise instead of green though I like turquoise but this I can do multiple things with this I, I can make a wreath with this um, I can also put it in the middle of like something like this wooden and make it like frame it in the middle and hang it um, I'm also thinking about making my coffee station in my kitchen like a little festive -y. maybe I can do like a, a luau type thing I don't know I have to just figure it out but I think this is going to be my inspiration piece it's just so pretty and glittery see all that glitter and it's beautiful the next um, decor item I got was this one sweet summer vibes yes honey all the summers um, I'm so excited about this summer just because I've been cooped up in the house for a long time and I plan on getting out I'm still social distancing like crazy this summer like I don't want to get on nobody's airplane I'm going to stay local, but I just want to enjoy my summer because sometimes I work so hard that it's hard for me to enjoy my summer. So I, that is my goal. I want to put on my vision board. Lakeisha, enjoy your summer with my family, especially since my boy, my um, oldest boy is going to college. I don't know if he's going or he's going to start off virtual. I don't know, but I just want to spend time because I don't know. But isn't this cute? Look at these um, lime and strawberries and just this looks like how I do my water now I don't really drink tea like this but I'll throw a lime and some strawberries in my water in a minute okay so definitely this is something that all could also be around my coffee station in the kitchen so if I redo my coffee station for summer I'll be sure to film it so you can see how I do it okay so comment below if you would like to see me film that all right the next um, bag I have, I, I had to get these y'all, I know, don't judge me, you're like, oh, why are you getting those little girl looking things, but look, it says girl balls, and it's just so cute, and this one says, this girl is on fire, this girl is on fire, <laughs> I love these these are so incredibly cute and I can put anything I want in these I'm looking around my room now like I got all these pins all over the place maybe I can organize my pins and put them in here I love these I just thought they were really really cute I also found this floral garland I don't know if you can see it but these flowers are tied by little pieces of string but guess what? I was thinking I can just take the string off and use these flat felt flowers in my scrapbooking instead of keeping them on the string. Or I can just keep them on a string and string them on my coffee station or something like that. So, I mean, it's a lot of potential for these. But it's a floral garland. And it's only a dollar. Felt. Now, functional, I had to get me some short envelopes. I have plenty of long envelopes, but I don't have too many short envelopes. And I got a great suggestion from my girl Michelle over at Vin Von Alley. Go see her um her channel on YouTube. Um she said I could keep my die cuts in here because I'm trying to keep like my subscriptions all together in the same place. And she was like, well you can put your die cuts in there. I didn't want to put the die cuts in the long ones. So I'm going to use these to like organize my die cuts with my paper. Um, this goes with that little pineapple theme. Isn't it cute? It's just a little pineapple that sits like this. But it's like shiny. Yeah, I think I'm already starting to decorate my coffee station. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> um, and then this is another functional thing. I got some whiteout, even though I ordered some whiteout tape or a whiteout pen. I think I ordered a whiteout pen. But there's nothing like good old-fashioned just liquid white out. I like using this a lot, too. And then I found these beautiful um, lace ribbons. These are lace, okay? So I could not help it. When I saw that they were lace, and they don't have that much on. Like, when I peel this back, that's not a lot. Most of this is, like, cardboard. So I got white, blue, pink 
and purple. And I think these colors match the colors in these buttons too, like purple, pink, blue, oh it's missing yellow, it's white. So those are two things I could definitely use in my scrapbooking. And the last thing here is this beautiful um, hologram, holographic pom-pom uh, that I'm going to find to put on something either one of my bags or on my planner it's just so pretty and then it sparkles it's just totally Lakeisha <laughs> so I like that so I will be putting that on something all right and this is my last bag here I'm gonna show you really quickly did you know that Dollar Tree has Toy Story kites. I mean, I know they probably carry kites, but I didn't know they had Toy Story kites. So I'm uber excited. I want to take my four-year-old maybe to like a school parking lot on a windy day and just run. <laughs> just run and play with this kite. He is going to be so excited. And also in his circle time, because he does circle time with the teacher online named um, Monica Sutton. So you can look her up. She's on YouTube too. But the shape of the week was a diamond. A diamond so this could also be a learning opportunity for him so I'm so excited about that and then I also in the same area in Dollar Tree found this glider plane and you put it together and you throw it and it glides in the air oh my god my four-year-old is gonna have a ball with both of these on a very good nice windy day very soon so if you have children and they're quarantined at home just get an open field go to the dollar tree get a kite and a plane and have a ball all right this is my last bag for sure and the grand finale so i saw this in the party section at dollar tree y'all i know you're like what in the world is that this is a cutout of a llama that it's for like if you're having like a llama themed party but every day in my happy place room that I'm in right now is a llama party okay let's let, let's just talk about that okay so look how big this cutout is y'all that's just the face of it <laughs> so I need to put this up somewhere but you know what I was thinking I wanted to llamaize my door, the door to this room. So maybe, because I already have a wreath on the door. So maybe I can put this beside the door. I don't know where I'm going to put this big old llama cut out. But guess what? Your llama girl, I'm going to figure it out. Maybe on this uh, wall that I'm collecting llamas on. I don't know. But I hope it's really cute. Because if it looks kind of weird, I might not keep it up. But we'll see. <laughs> I also found, of course, some sunburst gems, and I was thinking of using these in my scrapbooking for embellishments um, or on the front of my planners to zhuzh them up. These are beautiful. I saw these in the crafting section. Look, foiled, y'all, in the Dollar Tree, y'all. Foiled stickers. And it's a 58 count unit and it says foil right here and it's just so crazy cute that's crazy cute and then I found another one that's more functional has today same thing 58 count front back foil stickers so did I get three of these I thought I got three of those oh my god oh yeah I did get three know what I shot for is the third one this one has a little butterfly on it and flowers so this is more like summer or spring again foiled this summer or spring this is about love so this is probably like for um, February and this is functional for any time so all three of these you guys 58 count in each for one dollar so I was really happy to get that I also found some alpha alfies, so I found these alfies, and and they're black, but I like that they are have a little shadow behind them. And do they talk about the count count? And this says rub on transfer. I don't know what rub on transfer is. They look like stickers to me. 
And then I also have these. And these have the little embellishments on the side of them. So you can't ever have enough Alfies, especially when you're scrapbooking, because you always have to spill stuff out. And then I got this. I am my first scrapbook that I'm trying to complete is one about my family. So when I saw these beautiful home stickers with the word family in it, I had to get them. And they're raised. They're a little 3D or 2D. So um, they'll look very nice on one of my um, scrapbooking spreads. I also found these labels, um, but I'm going to use these labels more for journaling cards. And when I scrapbook, if I want to write something, I thought these would be good for that. And then I found these two um, self laminating sheets. I got two of them because there's only three in one pack, but you can laminate small things with these. So I don't have to pull out my big laminating machine to do a small job. So I thought that would make my life so much easier so I was happy to find those and then I saw these now these are like I wish you could feel these they're like metallic and they're very smooth and they feel so nice so these are feathers it's just gorgeous I can't believe the Dollar Tree carried this product and this is, of course, a llama corn. <laughs> so I bought these two. Now, they were a dollar a piece. You're like, a dollar for that one little thing? But they're metallic. And look, they have directions on the back. It says, apply to clean, dry surface. Also, they have examples of you putting this on your planner. You can put them on cups. Oh, I can make me a llama corn cup. And you can put them on bins. So, yes, yeah, so I'm definitely going to see how I can stretch and use those two sets of stickers. Alright, I got four more things. Did you know, did you know that Dollar Tree has freaking sticker books? Okay. Sticker books! Ah! When I saw these, I was like, oh no, y'all didn't. So this is called Let's Planner. Let's Planner. It has 292 pieces for a dollar, y'all. 292 pieces for a dollar. This one looks like it's whimsical. It has like um, animals on it. It has like functional boxes, boxes you can write on. It even has like little um, tabs. This page says never give up. This page is so cute. Don't forget, big day, finish. Okay, so these are more like your words. And then here are some more functional boxes for work and stuff like that. And this is the last one. This one is really cute. Get organized, busy. Wow, this is a, just a dollar. Just a dollar. I can't believe it. And guess what? I had three. I saw three of them. Here's the second one. Oh, I like to go crazy in the dollar store when I saw these sticker books. I was like, what? Come correct, Dollar Tree. Come correct. So I'm just going to flip through this one. This is more of a functional type. But again, beautiful colors. Look at the black and gold. And it's foiled, y'all. Come on, Dollar Tree for a dollar. What? Y'all better stop playing. Look, weekend. They're trying to make this like a kit. Oh, y'all trying to really kid it up with this one. And look at this. Look at the black and pink and the stripes. Yes. And look at this. The um, speech bubbles. What? Oh, my gosh. These books are popping. And look on the back. They also show you each page that's in it on the back. It's called Let's planner and this one has 323 stickers in it all right this is the last one I got this one has 278 stickers in it and this one has you guessed it llamas in it look at the llamas with the sunglasses on okay no prop llama enjoy your life this one says morning afternoon evening today's plan and llamas are all over the place 
Here's some llama functional ones. Oh, this is so incredibly cute. And this says weekly planner. Isn't that pretty? The the words are are exceptional. And they're foiled. Oh my gosh. Here's some more speech bubbles. This says Saturdays. A lot of weekend. And then here's the same as the other one, more like work and functional with payday and work and stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys, you have to, if you see these in the Dollar Tree, grab them because I got a feeling that these are going to go fast. They got sticker books up in the Dollar Tree. What? All right. I got one more thing to show you. This is the last thing. So... Oh wait, this is not the last thing. Something fell. Oh my goodness. Two things fell, y'all. Hold on. Before I go through this. These things fell. I didn't even know. <clears throat> I got these stickers. These fancy like um, mason jars. And it says good something on it. Good. Oh my gosh, I can't even read any of my glasses. But they're very pretty and they're like 2D and I love these. They can definitely go in my meal planning. And then I also bought these sticker um, embellishments for scrapbooking. They're all little mini hearts. Alright, now I'm really finished y'all. Sorry about that. I just looked down and I was like, oh my gosh, some stuff fell. So, if you're really my friend... If you're really my friend, if you're really my friend, you know I like Mexican food. I'm always talking about making tacos or... Uh, shrimp tacos or just something I love authentic Mexican I'll, I'll even if it's not authentic I'll eat it so when I saw this, saw this little book on Mexican recipes what shout out to my Mexican brothers and sisters I have so many good friends from Mexico and I appreciate them and I also appreciate Mexican food, okay? This is one of the foods I eat all the time. I make it from scratch. Guacamole. I just bought some avocados today, y'all. So I can tear me up some guacamole. I'm so excited about that. And I'm going to test out this recipe because I make a mean guacamole. So let's see if this is the same. Um, yeah, pretty much the same. That's like basic guacamole. I'm not really zhuzhed up. Mexican shrimp cocktail. Oh my god. Look at the gorge picture of this sh Mexican shrimp cocktail. It's making me hungry. <laughs> oh, and this is queso dip. Oh my gosh. These are chilies. Oh, salsa. Oh nachos oh mango and avocado salad oh my gosh i cannot wait this refried black beans okay black beans are like my favorite beans okay i'm not gonna go over this whole book because it's making me hungry and i'm getting uber excited but this is my last thing i wanted to share with you is my mexican book so i cannot put everything up here but i'm just gonna put some of it thank you so much for hanging around if you stuck around this long it means you like me girl you know it so like subscribe and click that notification bell girl and make sure you comment below to tell me what type of videos you'd like to see next and until next time planner friends i hope you stay safe i hope you stay healthy and i'll see you in the next video bye friends